But yeah, the hot girls like um, it's not legal there. They like sucking on um, <laughs> sucking laughing, on gas. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> laughing gas. Like you see them at the club all the time with this big balloon and there's no way. There's gas in there. Oh, dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah. Dude. And they're sucking on that. Food of life, such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> hey, Wilson's coming by, guys. Something light today, something light. Chicken, well, oh, grilled chicken and shrimp. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best grilled chicken and shrimp ever. Don't blame. You can call this beer food in Vietnam. So, six pounds of chicken wings here. Two tablespoons of canola oil. We got one tablespoon of curry powder. Big shout out to Cool Runnings, Jamaican style. Cut it. To this, one tablespoon of nor or chicken bouillon. Two tablespoon of fish sauce. Oh my. Two tablespoon of chopped lemongrass. One tablespoon of chopped garlic. Half tablespoon of hot chili powder. And we got some black pepper. So two teaspoons. Beautiful clean gloves. Mix this in, mix this in very well. We're gonna let this marinate for about five to six hours, guys. Or the longer it sits, the tastier it'll be. All right? Into the fridge it goes. I got some shrimpies here, guys, which I did skewer. And I'm just gonna throw some butter or some good seasoning on it, so. We got our butter for our shrimp. So, one cup of butter. To this, we got a teaspoon of turmeric. One tablespoon of hot chili powder. Or let's go two tablespoons of hot chili powder. We got a tablespoon of fish sauce. And we got just a teaspoon of sugar, guys. There it is. Let that melt and cook up. This is our seasoning for our shrimp when we grill it. So, my wings, guys. I skewered them off camera. Look at that. It's beautiful. Makes it easier to cook and more fun, guys. Right? Honey glaze on top, guys. Honey butter glaze on top. Wilson's here. Oh my god. <laughs> what up? Yo, sorry, I was just so bad. I'm bearing good. Oh, wow. Yo, isn't it cold? It's yeah, it's freezing, man. Right it's beyond, beyond cold right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. Last batch of wings. I'm gonna do this hot butter here. I like how you come back from Vietnam, but you want to eat Vietnam. <laughs> man, it's, it's freezing, man. It's beyond cold. It's not too bad. It's uh, only minus whatever. Minus 20? Yeah, I got you something. I mean, what is it? I got some beers. Oh, nice. Sea change? I got some sea change. Oh, ah, nice, bro. Dude, welcome back, hey? Huh? Welcome back. Thank you, brother. You want to do this? Let's do this. I got some tiger beer too. Huh? You got some tigra? Some tigra. Oh wait, you want this on here real quick? Yeah, let's do Big it. shout out to Sea Change. Oh, well, dude, I got way more beers. Hold on, let me. Let me throw the shrimp on. Okay, professional camera angle. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, sure. What do we have to drink today, bro? All right, today we've got Let's some uh, sea change. We got a session Big shout ale. Big to sea change. We got some SYC. SYC. That's a brand. Yeah, that's a brand. Big shout out SYG. SYC. SYC. <laughs> Yo, you come back from Vietnam <laughs> one time. You go back and you're English. Look how sick this cooler is, guys. Ooh. You guys cannot get this. Yeah, they can't get that. Like this stuff, legit, natural, natural. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff too. Yeah, that's all SYC. Sandy Beach. Yeah. First time IPA. Yeah, oh, that's my first time. Sandy Beach after because it's yeah. so warm today. All right. It's uh, minus. Oh, Edmonton Brew too. Yeah. That's awesome, guys. And we got some Tiger. Where's Dewey and Deweyson? Oh yeah, still in Vietnam. Still in Vietnam. <laughs> all right, shrimpies. Spicy butter. Just gonna throw it on top, guys. And let that grill. Let's do it. That delicious butter. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you're so lathering that down. <laughs> oh my. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's almost there. How beautiful that is. Wow, did you just Photoshop the shrimp, man? Yeah, man. <laughs> Just that burn your butt thing this time. If it doesn't burn your butt, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smoke. Put on one end. And what's the chicken one? There's spicy, there's honey, all types of good. I feel like this is a, a really good meal for this way. Just a beer drinking glass. Right. Little old beer drink. Wow. Ah. Is your hand cold? It's hot. No. <laughs> it's burning. That's not going to come off. Just leave it there. We are back, guys. We are back. It's been a while, but we're back. Welcome back. No, welcome back to you, man. <sighs> to me, welcome back to you. You've been You've gone. Been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. You've I've been, been uh, partying it up. Nah, man. You've been like partying up on a discount. <laughs> Alright, first off, let's start off with something. Big shout out to Sea Change. Thank you guys for supplying this episode with Bear. And big shout out to SYC for supplying us with your guys' beautiful beer. Alright. Let's do this. So, so, we got the butter on this side. We got the toasted bread. Okay. Uh, let's do this. What is this? This one's a Saison. Saison? Yeah. This is called the Nuges Table Saison. When you drink a Saison, okay, I'm not a really a big beer guy. That's what like, I, I just drink beer. And I think it's really <laughs> good. But it's like, what kind of things are you like uh, seeing in a Saison? A Saison? Yeah. You're going to see more fruity notes. You're going to yeah. see... We'll do... We'll, we've got like a whole bunch of different beers. So yeah, we'll this just do so like sweet. a ton of uh, halfers. So it's this yeah, one actually like, smells really nice. It's a four and a half percent beer, so yeah. it's like it's a good starting beer for today yeah. because we've got like some pretty strong beers. We've got mm. like a six percent over there. Sorry, we've got guys. another six percent over there. Find you a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just digging right in, eh? Hey? Yeah, just doing. Oh, sorry, I took your bread. Just tasting it. You're tasting it. Just tasting a little tail. Welcome back. Thank you, brother. Um, so. I see. First things first, how's your wife? My wife is good, guys. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Wait, let me get everybody a bite of this. The break, guys. Mm -hmm. Come time. You guys got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Everyone's wondering, man. How's it? Like the butter? I really like the butter. Mm. I'm gonna go with the onion bread. Big chicken one? Give it up. If it's still red, it's still good. <laughs> no, it's, it's still red. <laughs> yeah, it should I, be all cut. I like my chicken that I'm rare. <laughs> I like that I'm rare. <laughs> Don't drink alone. Mm. I learned this from uh, somebody. <laughs> so what are we looking in this beer? Oh, I'm just kidding. Man. Come on. <laughs> I'm a fun uncle. <laughs> Honestly, beer can be so super subjective, but it's just a light, clean, crisp beer. Like, fruity. 
Oh yeah. Nothing to it. Just like that a is. nice refreshing beer on this like super cold day. That's nice, man. Right? That's really nice. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, they crush it. Dude, the beer scene in Edmonton's so good now. I really like the draft beers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a very big fan of draft beers. And Tiger Beer now. I'm a big fan of Tiger Beer too. Mm. Goes to Vietnam once, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Love Tiger Beer. <laughs> Yo, be careful because um, like some of the sticks broke, mm -hmm. so just don't bite right into it. You know? It's organic, right? Yeah, <laughs> organic wood. <laughs> non so you can eat it. Grass fed <laughs> grass wood skewers. Nah, just throw it in there. Dude, this is really, really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. There's honey and there's um, spicy peppers too. Honey and spicy pepper. Mm. I feel like a mixture of it. This is what I like. Not so heavy food and good beer. Good company, and good vibes. Okay, so I go to Vancouver because there's a coffee trade show there. Uh, Kwong flies back into Vancouver, so we literally only have like an hour to hang out. Mm. So I take the sky train back to the airport. He lands, I find him. The first thing he wants, I'm like, dude, what do you want to go eat? He's like, I only want to eat one thing. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, what do you want to eat? I want to eat Subway. <laughs> Yeah, man, I've been craving sandwiches. Huh? Sandwiches in Vietnam is not that great. But well, I mean, but I guess you don't go there and eat sandwiches, right? I mean, would you consider Bun Mi a subway? Because they make it in front of you, but I you have no so. choice. Yeah, but I don't know. A Western sandwich, that's what I've been craving. What'd you end up getting again at Subway? I think I got a cold cut. Yeah, I got a cold cut. We got a six inch cold cut, mm. and then we had a booster juice. Mm. So, Which is awesome. No, dude, that was so, like, to me, that was, like, the coolest thing, just being able to, like, hang out with you for yeah. an hour at the airport. In Vancouver. In Vancouver, exactly. That's the first time, yeah. I would say, we traveled to hang out. But this summer, this is our summer first time go. traveling together. <laughs> airport, Vancouver airport. Yeah. But it's just, like, about that, uh, I knew you were coming back, like, I think. Nice. Did you just give him bread? Oh, no, no shrimp. Trip. Super populous. Here, here, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> the crusted shrimp. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I thought that was like awesome. Just being on a hangout. We'll do it this summer. We'll go camping. Mm. Mm. I wanted to do camping this summer. You want to go fishing? Man, you I want to go fish. fishing, but I have no time to fish. No, no, I could. I no, no, have no, the we, can go, we can go camping. Yeah. And then I'll take you out, do a little fishing. Fishing's so fun. And then we can cook something if you catch anything. Man, I went fishing with Gwen, mm. one of our friends. Yep. Didn't catch anything and I was pretty upset. That <laughs> I just didn't have the time. Like, patient, the patient? Patient, yeah. Well, we just have to enjoy the weather, man. Mm. That's cool. Like, you go fishing because it's like... Relaxing? Mm-hmm. And then you just enjoy like the scenery mm -hmm. and everything. I think but, you gotta really be into it. Well, you're, if your intent is to go fishing, then yeah. Mm. But if your intent is just to have a good time, and like yeah. if you catch something sweet, if not, whatever, man. I just want to go there and catch a big one. That's all I want. I don't want no little ones. I just want the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> and drink beer. Drink beer. What's new with you? Um, mm. your book. Did you bring your book? No, I didn't. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, do you know I what? I waited all this time for your book. Well, I wanted to bring you beers first. Yeah. Um, and you didn't bring your book. Yeah, because beers are more important than <laughs> Let, Let's be real. Like, the book is sweet and all. Yeah. Don't let me. Don't get me No, the book. I'll leave the link in the description, guys, if you guys want to cop the book. I wish you brought your book, man. I'll go home right now. I have all things. You forgot your book. Dude, I'll go home right now. No, man. We got to eat. <laughs> I'll, go. I'll go home after. No. Next time we see each other. It's all good. Done. No stress. The book mm -hmm. is the book. It's out there. Super great on the sun. Link in the description, guys, if you guys want to check out the book. If you guys support it, thank you so much. If you guys don't like it, ha! I took your money! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. <deep. laughs> That's why I like it. Just little knickknacks. How do you like it? I haven't even had the shrimp yet. No, you didn't have the shrimp? No, dude, your chicken's bomb. Really? Chicken is bomb. You gotta try the shrimp, man, when it's a little warm. When it's warm? Okay, mm. fine. Okay, after this. After shrimp this is guy. awesome. 
Mmm. You dip the uh, um, chicken in the butter. Um, I'm just been dipping the bread in the butter. To yeah. be honest, the yeah. chicken's like well seasoned. Yeah. With that beautiful no name brand. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you do a video on your shopping, or did you just do it on Instagram? Just on Instagram. Oh man. Just got home. I think it's the first day back. Went to get some spices. Yeah. Just loaded up. Dude, if you don't I follow, you're wearing white, eh? I know, but if you guys don't follow Kwong on Instagram. Like his yeah. story is the funniest thing of all time. I do the random. So <laughs> this guy's been gone since August the thirteenth. August, yeah, August twenty, yeah, August twenty, I think. Is it twentieth? Well, I think so you because we hung out for my birthday, and then you're like, yeah, we gotta go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like just before or after. It was after your birthday, isn't it? Before your birthday? Yeah, it was before my birthday. So, Kwong leaves some Vietnam. Goes there and his Instagram is the greatest thing of all time because all you see is him eating, which is like this is normal, no. but it's him singing karaoke. <laughs> That's it. It's just his like fat awesome. face <laughs> singing karaoke. Probably so. the nicest voice you guys ever heard in your life. <laughs> I promise you guys. You you probably cry if you guys heard my voice. That was pretty good. No, oh. I don't want to brag about it. But it was really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my ears cried. <laughs> my ears cried because it's so good. <laughs> At least you cried, right? <laughs> I don't know. Man, that was good times. Tell me, okay. Really good times. So you went in the summertime. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you're like, you come back here, and it's the funniest thing. I'm like, yo, bro, let's hang out. He's like, yeah, sure. Mm. I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? He's like, oh, go to Vietnam. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was that summer too, right? Mm -hmm. The start was somewhere, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, tell me about Vietnam, dude. You're the one who left for like three months. Everyone in the comment is like, don't tell your girlfriend how to eat. <laughs> Other one. When are you coming back to Canada? <laughs> that's my problem. I, I, I guess that's my problem. Like me too, like I tell you that all the time. It's like, yo, you should try this, try this, try yeah, this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's good, it's delegating. It's just like, you're just gonna delegate. It's like you cook. It's just like, yeah. It's like I cook. Mm -hmm. Here, brother. It's like, okay, for instance, I cook fried chicken, okay? To eat a fried chicken, you have to eat right through the skin into the meat. Sometimes when Wilson eats, like, I'm not hating on it, sometimes when Wilson eats, Dewey eats, uh, Deweyson eats, uh, my girlfriend eats. Like, just say, for instance, I see him doing this in my head, just ripping off the skin, then biting the meat. It's just like that, It's kind of clean. Is it clean? I don't trust you. <laughs> That's how I feel, you know? Like when you eat something, like you gotta have a bite of everything, you know? That's that's my problem. But it works well. Like a bite of everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Mm hmm How's it feel to be back, dude? Nah. I don't think it really hit me, but I'm very happy. Really? What's uh something that <laughs> just kidding? Yeah. Man, it's very um it's not overwhelming, it's just, it's just back to the norm, you would you say? Yeah. Or I don't know. I mean, you were partying and you were in a dreamland for like three months. Yeah. So that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> I love it now though, I ain't gonna lie. Me too. Yeah. I'm so good. I mean, <clears throat> I only went once this year, but you got a chance to go twice, so it's awesome. My birthday is coming. I'm not telling you guys what day is my it's birthday. In it's in December. It's not in this hour. It's in November-ish. Just kidding. <laughs> Exposed. Well, I don't know. What should Dude, I do? This is really good. Yeah? Um, did you suck the head? You didn't suck the... I won't suck no head. <laughs> like no head. You gotta suck the head. You gotta suck the skin. That's where it gets spicy. It's like, that's where the butter that is. Part? Yeah. And you gotta eat the skin. No, you don't have to eat the skin. I'm saying you just gotta... Go, go eat the skin, but you don't have to eat the skin. <laughs> Here I go again, just telling you how to eat, see? <laughs> see, all that good butter on this shrimp. Mm -hmm. Wilson just doop, peel that off and just ate the meat. Okay, can you teach me? <laughs> okay, teach me. Teach me how to eat the shrimp. Okay, pull it up. Suck the head. Mm, bite it down. Suck the skin. Right. Suck the skin. Mmm. Analyze it. Pull it up. Uh, you can dip it if you want, but I think it's all good by itself. 
I feel like that was like a four step of like <laughs> an erotic. No. Suck the head. Lick the skin. Then you lick the <laughs> The tail has a lot of juices too. That's nice guys. That's nice. That's amazing one. That's really good. Good. Like it? It's chicken. Yeah? You like it? Yeah. And quit deflecting. <laughs> I asked you about Vietnam. Tell me about uh, Vietnam. Vietnam's good. You're like this is I'm like Talking about I'm not right. and then you're like, okay, so do we? And we also <laughs> like, no, they eat this way. Yeah, man. Tell me about like your favorite thing that you did in Vietnam. I don't just be with everybody, man. Be with everybody and just drinking and just having a good time. Mm -hmm. Drinking, eating, having a good time. I know you filmed while you were there too. Mm. There's like cooking videos here and there. <clears throat> so like, what it was, like, was like, huh? like what was like? An everyday thing for you, like what did you start off? What time did you wake up? What did you do? I woke up super early there. Mm -hmm. like, everyone's up and at it like around 5, 4, 4, 5. In the morning? Mm -hmm. That's pretty low. It's like, everybody, like everyone's up at that time. Like getting food ready, getting everything ready. Do you approve? Yeah, that's just good. <laughs> I can't you know what? I'm not telling you how to eat, man. <laughs> So you woke up at like five in the morning, got your drink started. Mm -hmm. Coffee, workout. Who did you work out? There's a gym in that place. In the, your building? Yeah, nice. just a small one. What? Well, I kind of worked out. <laughs> but yeah, just woke up, uh, go shopping. Uh, for Pretty food? much right now. Like yeah. for food or? Pretty much right here, yeah. So we're the same day. Wake yeah. up. Figure out what to cook. But Vietnam was a little more tricky just because the ingredients wasn't all there. Mm -hmm. Like here, go to one store, boom, everything's there. Go to two stores, boom, you're mm -hmm. there. You're going home. Vietnam's like four or five stores. Do you have this? No. Do you have this? No. Like that's that's what I'm kind of great. Would you say that's grateful for? Happy grateful. For? Yeah. Sure. They're grateful that we are very multicultural and we Ooh. can get whatever ingredient we want. We actually have a lot of things. A lot of things, guys. And I'm very grateful for that. So true. Now you go to a Super Mario, boom, it's there. What do you feel like? Chinese, boom. What do you feel like? Japanese, yeah. boom. Then people get triggered because the mango is like $5 each. And you're like, what? I'm not yeah, yeah, paying yeah, $5 yeah, yeah. for the mango. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. I guess it's different too because I see that in shopping markets too, where mm. it's just like our stuff is like expensive over there. Like Doritos is like five, six dollars. No, what? And it's not like even a bag of Doritos. Yeah, it's not even a half a bag of chips. It's like a quarter bag of chips, and the rest is air. <laughs> Dude, that's like the most eclectic. Kind of no, I didn't know um, Doritos was so expensive there. And it's just our American stuff, right? Our North American stuff is expensive. Yeah. Um, like just their fruits, like mangosteen, sap, the sour sap. Yes, I was like everything here. Yeah. That's expensive, right? Like two pieces are like eight bucks. And you're like, whoa. Over there is like three cents. I don't know. Dude, my favorite thing about Vietnam yeah. was just like walking on the street, and then there's like that sugar cane machine, mm -hmm. and then you just buy like mm -hmm. the sugar cane in like the bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they don't actually have. Containers, they yeah. have like a plastic bag, and they'll like put yeah. ice in it and then like wrap it with an elastic money. band. That's when you know it's like the most authentic. <laughs> That's how you save money, guys. right? Sugar cane bag or bag sugar can mm -hmm. with the straw. <laughs> well, because you were still cooking in Vietnam, mm. what was like the biggest challenge cooking then? Okay, it's like, okay, you can't get all the ingredients, but when you mm. were cooking, did you feel like, I mean, I read some of the comments yeah and people want you to come back here mm. and i think it's just because there's a variety of different foods that yeah. you can usually cook mm. you go to vietnam and you try to make like a steak mm. well it's new to make bumbo way mm. like for that bit mm. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is with vietnamese cuisine i kind of feel like it's a waste to cook vietnamese food there not really a waste of cooking vietnamese food there because it's just being my girlfriend that's it or in the in the weekend, when I cook something, it's roughly around maybe twenty dollars to cook, like a yeah. big piece. Where I can go outside and buy for under a dollar. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. It's like that's it. So it's like 
it's so hard to cook something else because it costs so much money. Yeah. Whereas like if you just go out on the street, yeah, you get like a plethora of food. Yeah. yeah. If you're planning to spend a little more on food, five dollars like it's like that's like the top notch bowl right there. Five dollars. Damn. Damn. Five dollars yeah. Canadian. Five dollars Canadian. Man, that's no, like, like four fifty dollars Canadian. That's like Americans like three dollars. Yeah. Right? For everything on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really love Vietnam. Just everything about it. Well, you were. Uh, I mean, what's the newest thing with you? With me? When's the last time we connected? Or in this video? Here? In the video, hey. Right? Um. Like, when's the last time? Was when we got super drunk and I passed out on your couch. <laughs> and we actually never released that video. Which video? Oh, when you passed out? When I passed out here on the couch and my knee was. Uh, oh yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> that one was so random. That was so random. That was like the rowdiest night ever, man. Like that's a rat. Like when we were grilling outside, that was the most rowdiest night ever. My neighbors came by, like it was rowdy. Guys. When I watched it, I was like, wow. <laughs> We're not the most rowdiest thing ever in my life. That's, like, <laughs> that's a private video. You, you I still, I still have the footages. I know. On my computer there. And then I'm not gonna name call, but somebody puked on the front of your lawn. <laughs> Yo, he's all good, man. I he's know. All good. <laughs> Let's just say he's in Vietnam right now, <laughs> living the dream. No, he's all good. Man. Are you saying we all puke? We all puke. We all puke here and there. I went to Vietnam and I puked, man. Yeah, I, but I puke hard, man. <laughs> Did I, you really? Pretty good. I went home, wait, I went to Hawaii or my, my family's uh, city, right? Mm -hmm. I went there, uh, all my cousins were there. Like, they came back from like all these cities. Mm -hmm. Like they live in other cities. When they come back, I don't know what was the location. Oh yeah, a wedding. That was a, the occasion, yeah. I saw that in your story. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. And we're eating shark. I don't know where he got shark, but we're eating shark. God damn. Yeah, like he got a shark. The most kind of <clears throat> nasty thing about like in Vietnam or in the village sites, there's flies. There's flies everywhere. Like he got a piece of shark and all these flies just like, like boom. Like when, when you, you do this, good meat, bro. Yeah, but when you do this, like you do this, all the flies are like boom. Like it's like, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, I actually don't want to eat this. Then my uncle's like, you should try it. It's really good. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to try it. <laughs> then I had a piece of dried fish. Like it was, it was like, it was like, I didn't want to disrespect him, but. I you you just didn't want to eat the shark? Yeah. Did you end up eating it? With all the flies and stuff? No. You didn't eat it, right? Too much flies on it. Is but shark available here? Can you eat shark? Um, I've never ate shark. Oh. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The whole shark fin soup stuff, like, mm -hmm. I know there's like a big outcry on that, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I don't really mess with food that I, like, for example, Mm. I had goat cheese for the first time this week. Was it grassy or what? <clears throat> it was very tart and sour, but I just wasn't sure. Mm. I felt like, am I supposed to like it or am I not supposed mm. to like it? So I was really confused because like, you know what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, thanks man. <laughs> oh, friends forever. <laughs> 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 now they think we're gay now. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend. <laughs> it's a front. It's a front. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about goats? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I like eating goat meat. Another piece. Oh, right. um, which one do you want? Oh, let's try the San Diego. American Pale. Man, is goat and sheep the same? Yeah, how do I eat focuses? Oh, there it is. Mm. Oh. All right, fresh this. I'm gonna check this. Cheers, bro. Yeah. I think a little piece of goat meat, so I have to pour it out. Okay. How do you feel about goat cheese? Goat um, cheese is, I'm confused with goat cheese. I say it's very gamey. I when I ate goat cheese, I, I felt like it was very gamey or something. What goat cheese from what? Like superstore. <laughs> well, I got that bougie goat cheese, bro. They're like the organic okay. stuff. Well, um, there's a there's actually a really good cheese place yeah. called the Cavern here in Edmonton. Yeah. Alright. Um, What's bougie? What is that? Dude, this there's like this triple. What, no, what does bougie, bougie mean? Y'all say bougie. Rich, oh, fine, okay. Okay. eclectic, oh, okay. opulence, abundant. It's bougie, guys. It's bougie. From <laughs> the dictionary, the thesaurus. Is it a real word, or you just made it up? 
Bougie? Yeah. Yeah, I totally made that up. Yeah? No. I, I, I heard it from a, a lot of songs. Oh, okay. okay. No. no? Did you make that up? Though? No, I didn't make uh, it up. There's a song by like, Bad and Bougie. Oh! Okay. And then I have to like read the dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you know Migos, but you don't know Bougie. <laughs> Bouge, I know. The bouge. The bougies. Uh, bourgeois. Oh, like the, the rich. Alright, so I have to. Do I bite the head off? Or do I tear the head off? Okay, tear the head off. You take the head, you bite down on it, and suck it. Suck it! <laughs> okay, well, I got. You see that little roller? Which one? This yeah. one? Yeah. Bite around it and suck that. Oh, yeah! You taste that? Mm -hmm. Do I eat it or do I eat it? No, you spit it up. Is that creamy or is it kind of bitter? It's, it's really creamy. Yeah. Actually. If it's bitter, it's a little, um, little old. The shrimp or um, kind of the shrimp? Yeah, because okay. these are all frozen shrimp, right? Oh, yeah. But don't say fresh, that. People yeah. can be like, no. Here, I thought you freshly harvested. <laughs> here, you can only get frozen shrimp. Frozen shrimp. Yeah. Which I don't like. Like I had <laughs> fresh shrimp one time, and yeah. it was just jumping. Like, kind of sad to see, but it was just jumping. But when I ate it, it was just like the sweetest. Piece of art ever. Sweet, sweet. You ate art. Mm -hmm. The shrimp was art. That's like some show. <laughs> oh my! Shrimp was art. That that shrimp was art. Mm -hmm. Did you tip? Yeah, I was tip. Down Vietnam, they don't tip. Do they accept it? Because mm -hmm. I know in Japan they okay. don't. Huh? No, yeah, Japan, Japan they don't. For sure. Japan they don't. They're very appreciative. Mm -hmm. like, I really um, respect all the grab drivers. Grab down there is like, what is it? Uber. Uber shirt. Um, grab drivers are so funny. Oh, you had a grab driver? Yeah, we got a couple grab drivers. My favorite grab driver is the one where you have to hop on a motorcycle and it's, you get you get your green helmet. <laughs> and you're just like holding on to this guy like, oh, let's go. I just took the car, man. Just, I also feel bad for grab drivers. Why? Um, when they buy me food. No. Wait, why would they buy you food? Because they they kind of grab driver Uber, are you getting. They do like uh, Uber stuff too, like food drives. Mm -hmm. And they work like straight through like rain. Like they're on mopeds and they're like straight through rain. Yep. Like they're standing outside the building. They're just like getting rained on and just like, hi, is this your order? I was like, yes, it is. And he's like, here it is. I was like, Dude, oh man, I feel so bad. Viet, like they're so nice. The Viet culture there drivers. is like the hardest working people. I don't know. They're, they're, I don't know. Hundred percent. But then there's part where they like some part. I'm not gonna say some part, but. The people I know down there are a little lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're eating good. <laughs> they're drinking good. My uncle. I exposed him. Was that the one where, um, oh, was that the uncle who taught you how to open the beer with the, mm. um, those are all my cousins. Oh yeah, there's one of our uncle. There's one of my uncles very lazy. But, that was one of the other uncle that showed me. No, he's was on Vietnam time at that yeah. point. Yeah. I feel like Saigon is more hardworking because oh, it's yeah. more 100%. industrious and there's 100%. just like more things to do, mm -hmm. more things to buy, mm -hmm. more, yeah. There's just more in <clears throat> Ho Chi Minh. 100%. A lot of investors. It's mm. like Japan. I feel like it's Japan and Korea in one country. Yeah. Like there's a lot of Japan. Like Japanese, Chinese too. Japanese, Chinese, and. Um, Korean? Korean, yeah. yeah. Lots. Lots. Like they bring all their stuff to Vietnam too. It's, it is a lot. So what was the party trick that you learned on how to oh, open the bottle? Well, that, that was a time when, um, Jeez. the wedding. Yeah. That's when I got messed up. Like, when, when were we saying? Oh man, yeah. I got shit all over me. When I got, when I got messed up, okay. When I got messed up. When you puked? Yeah, man. Like I got so messed up. We're drinking Huda bottles. Like Huda bottles are like this, but then in the end it's like fat. <laughs> it was like cans, but it's like fat. I took like four or five. And my cousin, I heard my cousin hid from me because he didn't want to drink no more because he's gonna head back to his country, or not country, his, his city, country. <laughs> his city, Hanoi. And we're like right in the middle. Yeah. So he hid from me for some reason and I didn't realize it. Okay. I was pretty harsh. One of my cousins broke up with his girlfriend. Sorry. Do you know No. He broke up with his girlfriend and he started singing a, a sad song. Okay. Then I was like getting depressed. I was like, I didn't know that he broke up with his girlfriend. And I was like, I was like, yo, man, we should just change. Karaoke? Yeah. And he was like pouring his heart out. I'm like, man, 
We gotta change the music and I clicked it off. <laughs> That's pretty sad. It was so depressing. Was it like a... It like, was pretty rude of me. What was? But I didn't know that he broke up with his girlfriend, but it was so sad. I was like, this is the most... Like, you know, everybody's having a good time. I don't know he started singing. I was just like... Nah, I feel sad. <laughs> I feel sad. Get like, it's this. like it's, it's like getting up to a wedding, you know? You're, everybody's having fun and stuff. Like, yes. I don't know he's just... Well, okay. I don't know. We're both at the age where most of our friends are either getting married, yeah. have kids now, mm. or married and then have kids. <laughs> I see a lot of single moms now. Huh? Dude, single moms are hot. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all single moms. Shout out, out to the single moms. You guys moms. are holding it down. 100%. Dude, single moms are like superheroes. Mm -hmm. Really, they're like single dads too. Oh yeah, shout Absolutely. out to the single dads. You guys are like, oh man. Hey man, single moms. I got a couple friends that are single. Single mom, mm. and just how diligent and how like early they have to wake up and how late they have to mm. stay, and then. Mm -hmm. I have to like balance work life mm -hmm. and like have play time like dads too, dads too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just like the single moms right now. <laughs> I'm into single moms right now. Not really. Any like... single dads? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, single dads. I think those guys have it hard too. Like if not, a little bit harder. Single oh, dads. Yeah, because yeah, it's like you know you have this girl, you loved on her, you yeah. have a kid, you know things happen. Mm. But then now you gotta be a provider for both mm. well, the the female counterpart, mm. your child. Mm. And you just wanna be a good dad. I think mm. <clears throat> at the end of it, once you have a, a child, it's kinda like you wanna give everything that yeah. child wants, yeah. right? So dad's having it hard, I think. Can't believe he drank alone, guys. No oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that was like seven. Am I getting ready? No. We're talking about single people and single parents. I feel like we're starting to get a little lit. Man, we're sto our stories are everywhere, man. Yeah, we're, we're talking about <laughs> story that we just dump stories. <laughs> so, my cousin was sad and depressed because he broke up with oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> his uh, girlfriend. Mm. Did he break up or did she break up? Man, I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> and then you they cut him off. You're like, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Sad! I just wanted to dance. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can't dance to sad music? <laughs> so, he was sad, boy. Oh. You cut him off because you're savage like that. Well, I was like, but you didn't know any better. That's fine. Right, let's put some EDM on. I didn't know that he was uh, single. Pretty harsh. After. It, yeah, but like, if you think about it, it's like okay. There's two types of people at the wedding. There's people that are super grateful that mm. to be there, and they're just so like, oh my god, mm. this is about you. And then there's yeah. the people that are like, well, I just went through a heartache and mm -hmm. hardship mm -hmm. and. Seeing two beautiful people get married and mm. makes you sad sometimes because it's like that's what yeah, you that's want. True. That's what you want. Not be mad. Like your your cousin, <laughs> your cousin just wanted to feel good, and you shut him down. Yeah, okay, I was like, I'm depressed. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be like, yeah, my Canadian cousin, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I tried singing a sad song. He's like, shut it down. <laughs> it's like very Gordon Ramsay. Shut it down. <laughs> I just wanted to dance, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta suck on their legs, man. That's where all the beautiful Single ladies uh, and single moms, I gotta suck on the legs. Just, you know, yeah, suck on the legs, man. You see that? Okay, I know what's up. I yeah! It. I get it. <laughs> you get that flavor <clears throat> in your mouth. Yo, did your girlfriend go to the wedding with you, or did, was it just you? Yeah, she went with me too. Did people, were people like egging you on? It's like, Quan, when are you gonna get married, yeah. man? When are you gonna get married? I think about that every day, man. Every day? Yeah. From your parents and from, or just your family and. Very much every day. White Nam? Is that, oh, look, they're getting married. You should get married. <laughs> I mean, you did call her straight up future wife. <laughs> like, you. That was such a bad troll. That, no, it wasn't. I don't wanna say I apologize. People went to you too, right? And mm -hmm. they're like, yo, Kwan got married. That's the funniest thing. People would like go into my DMs uh -huh. on Instagram and be mm -hmm. like, is Kwan getting married? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what's going on? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> then I have to go on like YouTube and like research. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, if you got married and you didn't make it to your wedding, I'd be so mad. Google is Quan married? <laughs> <laughs> and he drinks a little again. Yeah, a little deep guy, man. <sighs> That's a penalty. It should be a penalty, man. You should chug it up. I would die. I'm like, 
Okay, I've been practicing how to drink for the last two years, and yeah. I still can't. And <laughs> 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 still sit here. <laughs> I was like, I got this this time. So I what was the, uh, okay, so. Oh yeah, I got messed up. Yeah, That's the time I got so messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know when the beer soaks? You, you know that feeling when the beer soaks? Like, you know you drank a lot, but then you're just like, you're at the standstill where you have to drive, or not drive home. Um, you have to cab home. Mm. Don't drink and drive. You have to cab home. It took an hour to get back. Oh an no. Hour, yeah. So our driver was just driving, I, and I was feeling it. That's when the beer started soaking into my blood. <laughs> I'm looking at everything. Everything's like turning. Everything's like oh, you going got, around. Oh, dude, you got the yeah. alcohol spins. Yeah, the worst. it was hard. It was harsh. It was hard. It was really hard. So did you tell him to pull over? Yeah, I told him to pull over. I like, can you pull over? He's like, no, we're almost there. I was like, no, we're not. But then he's just like. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna puke if you don't pull over. He's like, no, we're almost there, don't worry. And I was like, okay. Then he just like, uh, wait, I put down the, the oh, window. No. Yeah, if I puke, I puke, right? But then I was just like, can you play some EDM? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to dance this out. Then he's like, okay. Then I started dancing in the back. Mm. So, um, they're okay. telling me the secret to not puking mm. is to dance. Mm. Hey, get drunk one day and go karaoke or dancing. Okay. And it just gets your mind off of that beer getting soaked into you. But then when you get home, get ready to puke. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> but then when we got back to our hotel, um, I was so messed up. My girlfriend not really carried me in. Like, we just walked <laughs> in. She couldn't carry you yeah. in. <laughs> You're like, like, I went in, I just jumped on the bed and I passed out. When I didn't pass out, I like, like the world was spinning. But luckily, I forced myself to get up and puke yeah. and drink water, right? Then uh, my girlfriend's brother was in the area too. He's just like, you guys okay? He's like, yeah, we're okay. And then uh, he was like, you hungry? I was like, yeah, let's get some food. Then she's like, how much money or like um, mm -hmm. baguettes do you want? I was like, 18. <laughs> I think I said, yeah, 18. Because I was so hungry. No, 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 I didn't say 18. I said 12. I think it was 12. You're so funny. I was so hungry. I was like, I want 12 bun mies. She's like, no, you're not going to eat 12 bun mies. I'm like, just, I swear I'll eat 12 bun mies. <laughs> I'm surprised she questioned you. so much, man. Like, I'd be like, you want 12? I wouldn't even question you. You know, when you're hungry and drunk, you're like, yeah, I can eat everything. When your eyes are bigger than your stomach. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, 12 bun mies, easy. Yeah, easy. Then she's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, just get me 12. I can finish it. No problem. No problem. 12 come. She's like, my knee's here. I'm passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. I was like, why'd you get 12? <laughs> she's like, so pissed off. She's like, you said 12. I was like, oh, man. I mean, that's like saying, hey, bro, let's go get some. Okay, my favorite drug food would be Donairs, right? Mm. Donairs, it's a classic. Mm -mm. Uh, be like, yo, can I get like six donairs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, well, you bro, know. you're not gonna eat that whole thing. I was like, oh man, this guy's challenging me. When you're drunk, like, yo, this guy's challenging right? me. He said no. You can't eat 12. What are you talking about? Oh man, my favorite drunk food is Chinese food, man. All happy? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> it's been shut down a few times. Already. Oh, I thought you said it's shut down. No, I... so there's a restaurant in Evanston called All Happies. It's not called All Happies anymore. What's um, it called? It's a different Chinese. It's the same owners. They just changed the name. Oh, you know. All right. I talk about this. <laughs> and here's the shameless plug. I talk about like the perfect Chinese food, and they gotta oh. get shut down like two times because that's like, you know, health inspecting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. AKA cleaning day. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, now they. AKA <laughs> cleaning day. <laughs> <laughs> when you get shut down. When you get shut All right, down. I'm a clean guy. Dude, the perfect Chinese food consists of like a couple things. Number one, the oldest looking grandma in the corner babysitting. Mm -hmm. Like the oldest looking mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Number two, is get shut down. I think that's a must, right? You yeah, said, it's I a you said must. That. It is a must. A Chinese restaurant must get shut down. If it doesn't get shut down, it's not good. It's not authentic. Mm -hmm. And number three, the parking lot is awfully parked. Like people just, you know the lines? The lines are just there for show. That's mm -hmm. it. Like mm -hmm. people just park on the line, above the line. Over the line. Uh -huh. Behind right. your car. Yeah. <laughs> they do that. And then you have the universal sign of I can park anywhere. You just turn on, you turn on the hazards. That's yeah. it. It's like, and then you go in and you eat. Behind your car. Mm -hmm. 
Like you're in and out, you're finished eating, you're ready to go home. Mm -hmm. Why is there a car behind my car? Why is there a Chinese car behind me? <laughs> Get this guy out of here. <laughs> That's true, that is true. So your girlfriend gets mad at you because you ordered 12. <laughs> but me, what what you end up doing? But that morning, guys, that morning, you we got had to go to Saigon. Wow. Wait, what? We were flying back to Saigon. God damn. Five in the morning. I don't know how I woke up, and I woke up, and everything was spinning. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why. So I was like, oh man, this plane ride is like the worst feeling in the world. I'm pretty sure you woke up drunk, man. Yeah, I woke up drunk. Yeah, like, yeah. that night was something to remember. That, that night was very really fun, though. <laughs> I'm surprised fun. you just didn't stay an extra day, man. Me too, I don't know why. <laughs> crazy. You gotta yeah. stay an extra day now. Like, yeah. The last time I remember you puking was when we hung out with Billy. Who's Billy? Mm, Billy. Billy. Mm, mm, mm. Billy, Billy. That night. Huh? Yeah, that night. I puked that night? Well, you challenged them and then you like, you lost for the first time in your life. Or what did, did you win, but you sacrificed your I body. I actually don't remember. You sacrificed yourself. Did I have to? I think so. No, I didn't No. Oh yeah, he didn't puke. This guy don't puke. But I remember it. I don't remember it. <clears throat> Here's the thing: if you ever see Kwong in real life, or I guess just in life in general, just say, "Hey man, I'll buy you a beer," and he can't back down from that. <laughs> he can't. He can't back down from that. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> but if you challenge him to a drinking contest, you're 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 done. Like you're screwed. You are screwed. Every single time I come here and drink, like. I'm passed over on your couch, and you're like, this but, guy! But you gotta say that, because people are like, yo, but Wilson's lightweight, though. That is also yep. very, very true. I'm a cheap drunk, what can I say? Cheap drunk, man, you're expensive. Unless you're in Vietnam, I'll buy you drinks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick up the tab in Vietnam. I've seen a challenge where it's just like, um, no, I'm not gonna do the challenge. I don't know why I said What challenge? I'll just cut it off. <laughs> we'll cut it off, but what challenge? It's like a mountain. I seen some guy do it. It was like a mountain. A beer? Yeah. It's like one shot of tequila, one little pint of beer, then you get a tall glass, then you get a small one, and it just goes down. Yeah. <laughs> I like, oh, that'll be pretty fun. When I was drunk, <laughs> I walked a lot. Bro, I would die. You know that. I would straight up die. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like four shots of tequila, a tall one, a small one. Tequila's so good though. I don't know. No, what were you drinking in that week? Oh, just beer? Just some tiger beer. That's the only thing I was drinking. So you got super smashed on tiger? Yeah. Some little tiger beers though. It doesn't give me a hangover like heart. Mm. Yo, <clears throat> when you were in Vietnam, like, <clears throat> you know how <laughs> North American ABGs mm -mm. drink green tea Hennessy? Is that a thing down there too? Nah. Or? Okay, what are they doing down there? I don't even know, man. Down in Vietnam, they're called hot girls. They're called hot girls. Hot girls. Hot. Hot girls. Hot girls. Hot. Like hot girls. <laughs> like, you have to do like an Asian accent. Hot girl. Hot girl. <laughs> hey, hot girl. You're so pretty. I don't know what they drink, man. They drink whatever. They literally drink whatever. I remember one girl. Hot girls are the ABGs of Vietnam, oh. right? I remember what, I think she was ABG, yeah, I think she was ABG. Oh, for those that don't know ABG, the Asian baby gangsta, Asian yeah. baby no, girl. We call, I think in Canada we call gangster girls. Gangster girls? In America they call ABG. No, but in Vancouver they call ABG. Oh, did they? Yeah. I grew yeah. up calling them Asian baby girl. Girls. Damn, Asian baby girl. But in Vietnam it's hot girl. Mm. So what about the hot girls? They drink everything. They drink They drink everything, everything yeah. Damn. Down in Vietnam, they, uh, oh yeah, the hot girls like, um, it's not legal there. They like sucking on, um, <laughs> sucking laughing, on gas. <laughs> <laughs> laughing gas. What do you mean? They like sucking on laughing gas. They like, they think it's very cute. Like, I don't know what laughing gas really is. Not helium, but laughing gas. Yeah, like, it's called laughing gas, but it gets them happy for like a split second. Like they have this big balloon. Like you see them at the club all the time with this big balloon and there's no way. There's dancing, they're oh, dun, 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 dun. yeah. And Dude, they're sucking on that. They're sucking on the happy gas? Yeah. That's so crazy. I didn't search happy gas. What's happy gas? Someone's gonna search happy gas and it's gonna be like incognito mode first. Make sure you 
You search happy gas on incognito or something bad's gonna pop up. Those hot see. girls love smoke, not smoking, sucking on happy gas. First time seeing it, I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> like, I don't think it's cute. I think they, I guess it's the culture. It's cute in the, oh, the smoke. scene, the scene, right? Is it legal there? Yeah, it's legal there. I mean, if people are doing laughing gas in Vietnam, we're doing weed. Mm -hmm. But like, weed is not a drug. Big shout out to our 420 out there. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the, dude, you need to do a 420 meal to appease your 420 fans. No, I do it a lot. Every time 420 comes around. Well, every time you make an episode, it's 420 for them. <laughs> <laughs> How does he eat that, that food? Got the out of Where does the food go? <laughs> I don't think YouTube would allow like me making uh, edibles. It's like food with weed in it. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you could do that. But what you could do is like on April twentieth, you just make a big meal. Mm -hmm. I think. Did you do that this mm -hmm. year? You did, right? I just gotta look out for everybody. Huh? Gotta look out for everyone, right? Everyone's gotta eat. Yeah, everybody. Huh? It's getting cold, guys. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, we're crushing this mm. plate. Yeah, man, they like sucking on happy gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's a big thing, man. Like That's hookah, crazy. too. Hookah? They like okay, hookah I'm, too. I'm down for shisha. Yeah. We can shisha. Oh, shisha, yeah. Shisha's good. They like good. Shisha. Stuff. Yo, what's your favorite shisha? Do you shisha? Did yeah. you shisha? Like, long, long time ago. When what I was your favorite school, flavor? Uh, what was your favorite flavor? Melon? Melon? Melon. I like uh, Great Mid. Huh? Great mint shisha, great so mint. good. Yeah, great mint. Oh, I never had great mint. Really? Mint is like a go-to if I'm not craving yeah. the flavor, but dude. See, this one's a little black. Yeah. yeah. Don't suck on that. Don't suck on the black or the green, greenish black one. I, yeah. Well, <clears throat> yeah, great mint. Hell yeah, dude. What's great mint? Like it's minty? Yeah. It's got like that. Um. You know, like the Chinese candies, like not that. Well, I guess you can call them high chews, like mm -hmm. the grape high chews mixed with like mint. But it's... oh, grape mint. Yeah, grape mint. Grape mint. Oh, yeah, what yeah. did you think I was saying? Grape mint. Grape mint. Grape mint. Grape. grape. Like, Sorry that my Canadian <laughs> accent is. Uh... I was like, what is grape mint? <laughs> grape mint must be great. <laughs> oh, grape mint. Grape. Yeah, I'm saying grape. Ah, grape. Ah, grapes. Grapes. <laughs> I just say grapes. Sorry, I need to articulate it. <laughs> what was it taste like? Like a high chew? Grape? Mm hmm. Okay, high chew with um, mint. Wow. Um, do, do you still do it? Um, I haven't done it in a while. Mm. I know some of my friends that do it, they do it to like relax. Yeah. But every time I do a shisha, because I don't smoke mm. like tobacco or anything like that, but every time I do like a shisha, I can't go to sleep. I think the nicotine is like yeah. running in my blood and yeah. I just can't sleep. Yo, let's try the C chain. C chain's legit. I <clears> really <throat> enjoy it. Sure. Was it the blonde ale? Uh, you like the blonde ale? This yeah. one's a session ale. What is it? The session. This one's a session ale. Session ale. Yep. Okay, pop that sucker open. I'll, I'm just gonna keep finishing this uh, pale ale. Yeah, I like this coating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's a session ale? It's a crush beer. Why does it say crush? Crush beers, not uh, crush beers, not dreams. <laughs> I like that. It's true. What's so cool about this, man? Like when you look at the ingredients, it's just simple ingredients like Alberta barley, hops, water, yeast. Yep. Vegan friendly. <laughs> it's very vegan. Is that an ingredient? Vegan friendly. <laughs> yeah. It's like it has we gotta a beef everyone, Wong. That's actually awesome. The man. vegans gotta drink too. <laughs> Like, is it really vegan? Like, does every, uh, I guess, yeah. Um, I guess some beers do have like byproducts of meat in their beers. I don't know byproducts of meat. I would just say it's um, this added preservatives. That's that nice. Uh, might be associated with meats yeah. and other things. That is smooth. Kind of tastes like that Saison in the beginning. Mm. Real fruity. Not as fruity, but it's fruity. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more bitter. Yeah. Job. Good job, Colin. You like it? Yeah, food's good. Good food, good company, that's it, man. Nice, simple, easy, delicious meals. Hmm. Mm. Let's see what else is new. Um, I've just been traveling, working. I have to bow it out. 
Yeah. Went to Vancouver for a, a coffee um, coffee trade show or conference. Yeah, I've seen that. That was pretty called, fun. Man. Called Beanstalk. Dude, I love coffee. Don't get me wrong. But two days of free coffee is yeah. too much. Like two days of coffee. Because <laughs> yeah, you get like <clears throat> your your little mug. Yeah. You get a little sample mug, and the mug's like a three ounce pour. Yeah. And everyone's giving you like a one ounce, two ounce pour oh, wow. every single time. So there's about 50 vendors, right? Mm -hmm. And each vendor has two different types of beans. Yeah. So you're there to sample coffee, right? Yeah. But you're sampling 50 different coffees. So you're drinking almost like five double XL, mm -hmm. like Tim Hortons, mm -hmm. like coffee or Starbucks. Mm -hmm. That's too much coffee, man. Mm -hmm. Like I drink so much coffee, I couldn't feel my face. Yeah, I like my video. face went numb. Mm. Like it was just like, oh my god. Yeah. And I just wanted to run. Like that, that's, I just wanted to run. <laughs> <laughs> just nobody talking. I needed to run. I just gotta run, man. I just gotta run. But it was awesome. Um, a lot of, uh, met a ton of new station. Him and his girlfriend was working with booth, yeah. and it was awesome. So. <clears throat> Kurt, like him and I just started talking about beers and coffee mm -hmm. and just whatever. And we vibed, and he actually pulled up uh, a 10% bourbon age imperial stout mm. under the table, and he, I had it, it was so good. Yeah. And that was it, and then we just hung out. We hung out for a little bit, and then the next day I was like, yo, let's hang out again. Mm -hmm. And we ended up getting ramen, that's where we got a chance to like get to know each other a little yeah. bit more. <clears throat> and yeah, he's on the grind, he's on the hustle too. Like He's that's a awesome. really cool guy. And what's so crazy is like, like Sea change, mm. right? Taylor, the the guy who made this beer, mm. his favorite beer in Vancouver is House of Funk. Curtis's no. company. How it connects, dude. Mm. I was like, mm -hmm. crazy. That's so crazy. it's just like that vibe that you get from mm -hmm. people, mm. and then you end up talking a little bit more about the industry, and mm. you realize my friends are like so into like his beer. Mm. It, mm. it was crazy, man. Like that's awesome. I thought that was. The coolest thing that happened to me in Vancouver. That's awesome. Oh, and I got to hang out with uh, my my god sister in Vancouver. Yeah. So she's going to dental hygiene school at UBC. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Van dude, Vancouver is so fun. Have you partied in Vancouver? I've never been to Vancouver. Vancouver. I want to be in Vancouver one day. Vancouver, you won my heart. This is the first time I actually went out in Vancouver, like to go party and like enjoy like mm. the culture of Vancouver. Do the rally. Mm. Rowdy mm. Tuesday night, rowdy. Yeah, dude. Every day they're mm. doing something, and I thought that was so incredible. Like here in Edmonton, obviously you guys know that it's snowing right now, but like you, there's not really happening. Nothing. Yeah, mm. nothing's happening. But in Vancouver, weather's like mild. It's like right now it's winter for them, so it's just mildly cold. Mm. But people turn up on a Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Like my flight was at on a Wednesday morning. Yeah, like I needed to be at the airport. <clears throat> at about 6.30. Yes. I didn't get home till 4 in the morning. Oh, man. people were partying. No, 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 no. Vancouver. I want to experience Vancouver. Dude, Vancouver is crazy. Yeah, if, okay. I'm going to Vancouver. Where you gotta go to Vancouver and just party, man. I do it. I know people now. I know people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Vancouver, we're coming. When? When you're free. Let's go um, early 2020. Like February or March. I might be in Vietnam that time. God, this guy. It's, Must uh, be nice. <laughs> no, it's a New Year's. I just want to be back on New Year's. Oh, I want to experience uh, New Year's down in Vietnam. So Yo, that'll be really rowdy too. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, there's more traps here. Well, that's all good. Huh? Cheers, bro. Um, and you know what I also noticed about Vancouver? Mm. The girls are so pretty. Oh yeah. All and, well, it's not just the girls. Like all the guys are well dressed. Yeah. And they're like ready to party. All yeah. the girls are like. Bomb. Yeah, yeah, and they're just like ready to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and people just have like that work hard, play hard mentality yeah, yeah, yeah. in Vancouver. That's nice. That's crazy. I think I want to experience Vancouver. Vancouver doesn't snow, right? If it does, the city shuts down. Is it? Yeah, it's like America. They yeah, because they don't have snow tires. That's why. That's, ah, the, that's yeah. the only reason why they ship things yeah. down. Not because they're like incapable of like you know, America. Just a little snow, like. Oh my god! Shut down! <laughs> shut it down! <laughs> But why? Oh, yeah, I guess they're not. Like, it's just prepared. the snow tires. Yeah, they're yeah. not prepared. They just they're don't have prepared. snow tires. Yeah. Like, if you think about LA, mm. if that place like got bombarded with even a little bit of snow, yeah. everyone would like crash because mm. nobody would have. Mm. 
Great dude, especially, dude, if San Francisco got snowed, mm. think of those hills. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, cars yeah. won't even oh, go yeah. up it. There's oh, no yeah. snow tires, yeah. right? So you just have to shut it down. Yeah. 